What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Yammy Noob. Thank you so much for joining me today. You could have picked a lot of videos, but you picked this one because you're here for some bikes. You're here for cool content. I got you. I got what you need. I am your bike drug dealer sliding into the back door. I'm like, what up? Here's your baggie. See you later. I don't know if that's how drug dealers work. I've never bought drugs. Anyways, title of today's video is why I think the MT-07 slash XSR 700, this platform, this sport bike right here, is better than the MT-09 slash XSR 900. I know, guys, it's a controversial opinion. A lot of people uh, would say, Yami, more power is always better. What are you talking about? Of course the MT-09 is better than the XSR. It has one more cylinder. It has, like, 50 more horsepower or 40 more horsepower. I think it's about 40. I can't do math right now. But it's a lot more. And all the torques. Come on, Yami. The FC09 is the wheelie monster. Why wouldn't you want that one? But I would like to make the case for you today on why this bike is the one to get. And there's quite a few reasons why. So we're going to go out here today, take a nice little ride, and chat about the XSR700. Before we do, if it's your first time watching one of my videos, uh, why do I have this bike? This is not actually my bike. Well, it is my bike and that I own it. But I'm actually giving it away for free. If you click the link down below on yamanoob.co, you can find out how to enter to win this motorcycle, a KTM Duke 390, or a new Street Triple R from Triumph, uh, and you can win them for free. If you're not into the whole subscription thing, I get it. If you don't want access to exclusive content or Discord server, you can chat with me and hang out. That's cool. If you want to do a one-time, one-off type of thing, you can always go to yamanoobmerch.com. I'm doing a special promotion where I'm going to give you 2x entries on every dollar you spend on merch. So if you go down to the merch page, you pick out a hat, pick out a shirt, whatever you want, and then you put the code TRIPLE2020, I'll put it right here on the screen, I'll give you 10% off and 2x entries on every dollar you spend. I think the designs are pretty cool, we spent a lot of money getting them mocked up, did it professionally, they're pretty awesome. Without further ado, let's jump on this bike, and let's do it. Before we do though, I mean sound check, right? You gotta listen to this thing. This parallel twin, this cross plane, sounds so awesome. That is badass. That's a badass motorcycle. I love this thing. And of course, as is tradition with a MT-07 XSR 700, as soon as you take off in first, gotta roll on the throttle and then pop a little wheelie, cause why not? We're having fun on our motorcycle today, right? All right, so our quest today is to get gas and to talk about why I like this bike over the big bike. So let's do that. Let's stay on topic today. So what makes this bike awesome? Well, for starters, it's a cheaper bike than the MT-09. Um, MT-09 costs like 8,400 bucks, I think, 84.99. These you can pick up on the showroom floor for about five grand. So it's about two thirds cheaper to get into the XSR 700 slash MT-07 platform than it is the MT-09. Uh, I think that's a big selling point. Even if you're not super budget conscious, even if you're not in a situation where you do need to save and scrimp on pennies, uh, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't go with a bike that gives you 90% of the fun factor and, uh, you know, for two-thirds of the price. To me, as an economics major, as a lot of you guys know that I am, uh, I think it just makes sense. Uh, it's a bike that simply makes sense from a value perspective. Ooh, let's check the brakes here. Not bad on the XSR for a bit of a quick stop here. That's the other thing as well, you know, comparing the MT-09 versus the XSR 700, these kind of platforms of bikes, uh, you're getting options on this one versus the MT-09 that are actually really similar. Uh, like the brakes right here, as I mentioned, these are the standard, you know, sort of off the shelf uh, Yamaha twin disc brake up front. You're getting really similar options on the MT-09 as you are on the XSR and the MT-07 platforms. Only newer stuff like the MT-09 SP and that kind of stuff, they give you those kind of, you know, up, up market features. But if you're buying used, I don't see the reason why you wouldn't go with this. They have really similar options uh, for the bike. So it's a cheaper bike. It comes pretty much the same equipment, basically. Uh, unless you're getting the SP, unless you're getting one of the newer MT-09s, then it does have a bit of a nicer suspension setup. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to say is that I think personally the MT-07 in the XSR 700 uh, has a more kind of effervescent fun quality to it. Uh, the MT-09 is a very serious motorcycle. It's a very high horsepower bike, serious middleweight sport bike, makes about 115 horsepower. It's really fast. 
Um, and unless you are going out to the track and really carving up your favorite twisty roads and you need something with that much performance, I think this is the better bike to get. You're gonna have more usable performance and it's gonna be more fun romping on this thing and having fun with it. Um, personally, I find the MT-07 slash XSR 700 platform to be better fueled from the factory as well over the MT-09. Now, I haven't ridden the second generation MT-09 yet, but I have owned a first generation FZ09 back in 2016 and 2017, so I can speak to that. Those bikes from the factory feel incredibly wonky. The throttle is just not there. Uh, it's a real budget feeling kind of bike, whereas the XSR 700 feels a lot more pulled together. Um, because the XSR 700 and the MT-07 also have a standard uh, cable actuated throttle with no rider modes, none of that wonky stuff. The only thing that it has is like an eco mode and this and that. You're still getting like that, for some reason the Yamaha MT bikes, the throttling, the throttle feel is just not that great compared to basically every other motorcycle. You can work around it, but it's not great. Uh, but I think the MT-07 has one of the best throttle feels of all the MT bikes, to be honest, because it's much more simple. Uh, the MT-10 suffers from the same weird snatchy throttle that the MT-09 does. They all have that kind of bizarre on-off throttle feel and those wonky B modes and A modes uh, that don't really work that great. Uh, so I like the simplicity of the XSR 700. I think it's a better platform uh, to, to kind of learn and grow it. And that's the other thing as well. I think the MT-07 uh, is a more versatile motorcycle than the MT-09. You can turn an XSR 700 and an MT-07 into a bit of a, a, a scrambler if you wanted to. You could have it be a cruiser. You could turn it into a stump bike, a wheelie bike. You could turn it into a proper true blue track weapon as well. People will sell you fairings for these bikes and all that. Uh, lots of people compete with them in Twins Cup and Twins Class racing. So I think the FZ07 platform is more versatile than the MT-09. If you get an MT-09, it's a sport bike and that's about all you can do with it. So if you're the type that likes to tinker, if you want to do stuff to your bike, um, I think the XSR 700 is definitely the way to go. You can have a lot more fun kind of maneuvering these motorcycles and uh, you know appreciating them for what they are. What word did I just say? Maneuvering? Is that a word? I think I said poppily the other day in another vlog. I don't know, guys, what's going on? What's, what's my brain doing? What's, what's the issue here? Filling up the XSR here. Uh, one downside of this bike is the gas tank is a little bit small. I do notice that it uh, um, does take up a lot of fluids pretty quickly. I think also there's just something to be said about the 650-ish class of bikes. Uh, I've ridden tons of bikes, guys. I've probably ridden well over two, 300 motorcycles at this point in my life. Uh, I've ridden so many of them on track. I've owned dozens of different bikes. And I come back again and again to this class of bike for the street if you're just trying to do, you know, just street riding. Uh, I think it's a fantastic place to be for just street duty. And I'm not the only person that thinks so, you know, like it's not really a, a super controversial opinion. Um, I remember seeing an article one time on Revzilla that was talking about how one of the guys in the office had an SV650 up for sale and, you know, four or five of the guys jumped at the chance to, uh, to buy it, mostly because they all wanted to do different things with it. And that really goes to show you how versatile the 650 class can be. You can make it a commuter, you can make it a race bike, you can make it, you know, a lot of different things if you want it to be. They're really good starting points for you to have fun and enjoy your motorcycles. You know, I look at someone like Jake the Garden Steak, for example, who's in the middle of his FZ07 adventure bike build, which is amazing. You know, you can take that platform and do something like that with it. You know, Yamaha just came out with a Tenere 700 using the same engine and a lot of the same components of this bike. Um, they're just awesome. And me, as an experienced motorcyclist who has ridden a lot of different bikes, you know, I, I reach for this bike's key uh, probably the most out of all the giveaway bikes we have now. If it's my choice to ride a giveaway bike, um, I normally go with, you know, the XSR 700 because I feel like it's the most fun out of the bunch. Uh, the Duke 390 is a fun bike in a, like, really goofy kind of hooligan way. And the Street Triple is just fun in a, you know, refined, super nice way. But, but this one strikes such a good middle point. Uh, and I think a lot of people understand that too because this is a great bike for someone to get started on. It's a fantastic motorcycle for someone to get in the saddle and enjoy and have fun. Apologize for every red light we're hitting today, guys. I feel like the flow of my vlog is getting mixed up. What's 
going on over here? That scooter bro is just stoically just sitting there. And you know it's interesting, we, we, we try to, you know, say pretty often on this channel and like, you know, a lot of people say, oh, FC07 is a great starting point, really cool bike for you to get started and ride with. Um, you know, I think this is the absolute very most that a beginner should jump onto. This is a very torquey motorcycle. It has 687 cc's, about 75 horsepower. Uh, if you're not careful, this will really get out from underneath you. Uh, mostly because it doesn't weigh that much either. Uh, and that's something that I wanted to bring up, why it's so awesome. It's a very lightweight motorcycle. It only weighs about 400 pounds. So if you're getting started out or if you're an experienced rider, you feel like you can just manhandle this thing, no problem. Uh, it's got a really approachable seat height as well, so I think it's a really great package. Um, and again, the thing I just come back to again and again for the uh, XSR 700 and MT-09 or MT-07 platforms is just how fun they are. All MT bikes are really fun, but I really feel like the MT-07 is the best of the bunch. Uh, even even over the MT-10, MT-03, MT-09, I would pick an MT-07 probably every time. Uh, they're my favorite, for sure. And it's so funny because I think a lot of people get caught up in the machismo of it all. And they're like, oh, it's your favorite because you can't handle the big power, bro. You can't handle the big boy stuff. And it's like, guys, I own a Hayabusa. <laughs> I have a Hayabusa. I have a 675 race bike. Um, trust me, it's not about power. It's about what you want to ride day in and day out. Like, sometimes you just want something with 75 horsepower and a good amount of torque to play with domain part of Austin is so weird it's like it's trying to be urban but it's not urban um, these developments really freak me out they feel like Truman World or something or Truman what's that what's that show called what's that movie called uh, the Truman Show yeah it feels like Truman Show see so, yeah, and I want to impart that as well on you guys too it's like it's not that I'm you know I'm not speaking from having not ridden an NT09 or not ridden an XSR900. Uh, I've owned an FZ07, I've owned an FZ09, I've ridden an XSR900, and now I'm riding the XSR700. And, I, and this is the one I would pick every time. This is the bike to get. These bikes are awesome. For a pure street motorcycle, I mean, this is about as good as it gets. Thinking about what you can you know, you can pick the, you can pick up these bikes off dealership floors for like under five grand out the door. I mean, guys, that is such a lot. <laughs> it's so much motorcycle for the money. That's crazy. Uh, so I just really, really like them, and I definitely think they're the ones to get. So I think that's gonna wrap up the vlog for today. I think I've waxed poetic about the MT07 uh, quite enough. Uh, I really, really like this platform. Uh, this is one of my favorite platforms of motorcycling. Pretty much in all of motorcycling. I think they're super fun. I think they're really capable and I really really enjoy riding this one. So with that I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there and see you later.